So we met up with you in October last year. You didn't know us from Adam. I think we sat for about five hours. I could tell you were a little bit crazy, though. <laughs> we're the same. Yeah. <laughs> so and I must have been the same as you guys. Yeah, yeah. I think you're a little bit better in the ladies' department, but uh, otherwise uh, I think we're about the same. Uh, we couldn't get enough, so we had to come back for more. So we have a lot of questions. We have some more Bobby Unser legacies we have to find out about. And now for Dinner with Racers with your hosts, Ryan Eversley and Sean Heckman. Plate holder radio sound. I'm a driver. I'm very angry. The sound of a driver on the radio during a race. So I heard that you had a, I'm going to guess a collection of rubber snakes that looked incredibly real. No, but we used to catch live snakes, <laughs> make them dead. Oh, wow. So we were under the impression that you would take fake snakes and torment people with them. You got a highway out here. A lot of snakes die on the highway. Sure. Because they try to cross it. Then what we like to do is, like there's a there's a bar not too far. We get that snake and dead snake. Mm -hmm. Dead but real snake. Real, real. Yeah, yeah not, not a fake one. They're totally real. <laughs> I'd get him and I'd wrap him around the steering wheel real pretty and then put his head looking right at the guy when he gets in. Of course, everybody comes out of that bar drunk. <laughs> so you see that snake? What if I told you the guy behind the steering wheel was the first one out the right-hand side of the car? Yeah. And he was the driver. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I mean, he went out the window. <laughs> Didn't even use the door. I mean, we, we laughed so hard. Then we thought about how, how many times the guy would shoot us if he could catch us. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was not even a, a joke to yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. He was dead, and he was a bull snake. Okay. And he was, but he was a big one. He was about <laughs> uh, 10 years long as his couch. <laughs> yeah. And, and he got run over by a car right in front my garage okay yeah. right and so it was a perfect time to get a nice fresh bull snake you know oh i know yeah, <laughs> yeah. totally <laughs> related. based on my expertise on, this, on the matter <laughs> and then the same night we laid one across the floor okay so the guy gets in you can see him run his feet across the floor like this then he reaches down to grab it and pulls it out <laughs> he was the second one out the window <laughs> <laughs> It was too funny. It's probably one of the funniest things we ever did. When you say the guy, whose car is this? Some guy. Just a Just random guy car. Like so you broke into a car. No, I don't lock him down there. <laughs> yeah. So you open some stranger's car. Right. <laughs> right. And, and, and lay the snake on the floor real nice. And then take the other one and lay him around the steering wheel. Yeah. Kind of loop him around so he's looking <laughs> right at the driver, see? And to be clear, this isn't somebody who you know is afraid of snakes no, or some, like, we enemy. Know. Or something. Yeah. Just, you're just like, let's just mess with somebody that's completely innocent. Right, right. We absolutely <laughs> yeah, Sean. did not know. Was, was there any truth to the rumor that you would pull up alongside people in traffic and throw them in their window? Well, for sure. <laughs> After you've... After you've used up the snake, you got to do something. Right, right, of course. Yeah, I mean, now you, the trouble with, with getting a snake, you don't know if he's going to bite or not. You don't know if he's dead or alive. Sure. That's See? usually why people don't do this. Yeah, I know. yeah. It's, <laughs> it's an effective prank for many reasons. Did this continue on? For years? It would if we could find the snakes. Well, yeah, supply and demand there. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, I can only mean, do so much. Don't think. God, I'm <laughs> telling you what. Yeah. Uh. Hey, Jason, can you go lock the van? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, rumor has it 
you can't rent a car from any rental car agency anymore. Is that accurate? Definitely not accurate. Okay, okay. so you're okay with some rental car companies? Yes. All of them? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fair is fair here. <laughs> there was a time when we were kind of young that we that we kind of leaned on them hard, you know. We've heard. <laughs> and, and it for sure got bad. I was out at the racetrack. Dave was just about over. Gurney was there with my car, and everything was, everything was going kind of fun. Dan asked me, he said, how do you pitch those things in reverse without breaking the transmission. I said, well, that's easy to do. Jump in the car and I'll show you. So he jumped in <laughs> with, with me. I know he didn't want to do that, you know. <laughs> but he jumped in with me and we kind of went, we were going backwards down the front straightaway. At Indy? No, oh, no, no, that was at Phoenix. Oh, at okay. Phoenix, so, okay, yeah. yeah. My head knows where these things are. <laughs> that's okay, we'll get Some, there. We'll get sometimes there. In, in, and I don't know how I got there, yeah. but my head knows it. See? <laughs> so you're yeah. at Phoenix. I've never, uh, I don't think I've never done reverse at Indy. <laughs> don't think. But you had to think about yeah, it to make say, sure. Yeah, there was a clear checklist. Because yeah. it's, it's possible. Yeah. 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 And we started just doing the front straightaway with Dan, mm -hmm. and I'd show him that, that you know, like here, okay, now I'm going to raise my foot and go wide open with my right foot gonna go wind up and wind that engine up then I'm gonna let that stuff in the transmission gonna get a hold of it mm -hmm. and it's gonna hit those gears so hard it's gonna turn them backwards but if I don't hit it hard it's gonna break the transmission okay you understand what I got at yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to explain this to Dan Gurney I don't he, he He's mad at me all the time, so I can't imagine <laughs> him wanting to learn how to do that. Right, right. So, so I just say, we'll give it a try, yeah. So he tries it, and just bigger shit breaks transmission. <laughs> and then when we all left that day, my car had come out kind of the worst, because <laughs> it got Mario and Al, so we got ready to leave that day, and so we have a race for the gate. Well, naturally, I ain't gonna do too good because transmission's already dying. Right, right. right. And they just, they, and they hit that gravel out there, because it's all gravel. Yeah. Hit that gravel and just threw that gravel all over my car. See? It made my car look like it was the one that's been in the fight yeah. all day, you see? <laughs> Broke the windshield. Ain't got no goddamn transmission left. It's right, broken. Right. Yeah. And first gear goes, yeah, and that's it, you know. So I, I had to just cool it and first gear all the way <laughs> to the airport. <laughs> all the way. Honking and blowing my eye. All the way. <laughs> so I'm just going down this long highway south of all Phoenix, you know, thinking, what am I going to tell them? What am I going to tell them? I think this was an Avis thing. Okay. And I thought, I said, you know, I, damn, they're going to really be mad. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because it got no headlights left, <laughs> got no windshield, and, and what else? So, the muffler had fallen off. That was Gertie's <laughs> fault. Now, this time, though, I ain't going to park it in the lot. That's no good. Mm -hmm. that, that girl ain't gonna buy this. No, no way. So I went back down with that big smile on my face. And I says, I says, ma'am, you got time for me to talk to you a little bit? She says, well, of course. Sir, what is it? What do you need? I said, well, I, I, I just gotta show you something. I've never had this happen before. So out she comes. We go right out the first door, got out, and I says, you know, I rented this car back whenever, you know. It's really not in very good shape. She says, well, what, what was wrong with it? Well, I don't know. Let me just show you something. Now, you just listen. And you tell me if you're a cop, how you going to get by this, okay? <laughs> so I go out there and I go, rum, 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 you know? And, and 
poor girl jumps, you know. Right, right. I says, now, she says, was it this way when you got it? I said, of course. <laughs> I says, <laughs> pretty soon, anyway, that, that girl got, got me, and she says, that's what my name was. She says, well, come on, Mr. Answer. She says, go inside. She says, now, if I give you a free car the next time, would you forget all of this? <laughs> I said, of course I would. <laughs> I could do that for you. <laughs> and she did. So our bartender here at Unserville just mentioned jumping over a pile of wood on fire on an airplane. Well, there's a sprint car race in Reading, Pennsylvania. Now, do you have any idea where Reading is? Yeah, we've actually spent a lot of time in a lot of time Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a long ways from here. Yes, yes. This this one we're talking about was really bad. Good. Shouldn't good, have good. done this thing, <laughs> you know. And the sooner we get going, the sooner we're going to get some shut eye. Right. But it's a long freaking ways. And so we, we go, go to work and gear up, and I looked at that thing. And now, now when we go out there, they've had a little crash out there, a little wreck. OK. OK, and, and, and that plane that we're referring to then made a little crash about the middle of the runway. All right. He obviously got up a little bit and went a little ways right in the middle mm -hmm. of the runway. Mm -hmm. so, so that's all right. That's his problem. So what we do is I go down there and I look at that crash and I say, holy shit, it's a long ways. So now we got to take off and my only way to make it is I got to get going down on, we'll call it halves. One way is cut in half. Right. Okay? We can, I'm fairly certain that we can make it on the first half. Then we just got to crow hop the, the burning because it's got to, Fire is still burning down there. So when you said jump, you literally meant jump. Like, yeah. Just be <laughs> so. To don't you gonna make it, boy? <laughs> so basically, if you manage to lift your plane up about five feet, you can clear this obstacle in the middle of the runway that's on fire. Which is mm -hmm. an ex another plane that to, crashed. Yeah, yeah. Right. To another runway to keep going and get enough speed to actually take off. Well, it really wasn't another runway. It was really the same runway. All I had to Just do was... Just with wreckage. This, this, yeah. Here's the wreckage here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. it's way up here. Yep. And so I'm, I'm going down this runway. Now, I can see that because it's the smoldering fire now. Right. Of no another plane. Yeah, right. They're burning. Yes, they're they. You hear that? Yeah. <laughs> so I go down the runway. And Human I, life. Well, first I, I measured it with the... Uh, uh, what did I the measure? The power of assumption. Yeah. <laughs> that always works. Yeah, so at any rate, we, we get in the airplane. I tell everybody, okay, this is what we got to do. That's our answer. We got to get over the fire. We got to jump it. And then we're going to have to, there's a little runway at the other end of that. It's going to be all right. Don't worry about that. And so that's what we did. They, they, and the extras, they got the airplane pulled it at the other end, got the tail right up against the wire fence. Okay. So they, they pulled it back there and they held onto the tail. So you get the throttle going? <laughs> They're wide open. And when you say held on, you mean just people? People. Yeah, with their hands. Yeah. Okay, held onto a plane. <laughs> so you can throttle up, get ain't, the torque going. <laughs> ain't got no, yeah, ain't got no power. You know? Right. And let me let me be clear. This is too. This was not because you had a million dollar sponsorship meeting or you were going to not miss you're going to miss a race. You just wanted to get to bed earlier. We got to get sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I get it. I get it. Okay. We got a long way to go. That's a long yeah. night. Yeah. 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 It's totally not worth the 20 minutes. At any point, did you think about how bad that headline would have been, like if you didn't make it? It was like Bobby Unser oh, crashes we in a crashed airplane we were gonna to make get it. to sleep. That's, that's not the problem. <laughs> we were going to make it. We had to make it. Okay. Yeah. 
That was a long way to Reading, Pennsylvania, I promise you. Uh-huh. And my my head says, you got to get a good run at it. You got to make it. You got to get it up above that little fire there, and you got to go. And it went. <laughs> So, uh, being the aviation expert that you are of the years, uh, you seem like a guy who's going to stretch his fuel mileage to the very last drop of his tank. What he's doing is he's setting you up I'm to the story, you up for Lisa, story just told that Lisa just told us, <laughs> which she may have indicated that you may have. I believe it was a bonanza, if our research is correct. You could switch the fuel cells, yeah. I believe, and you could shut things off. Is that? That got well, that didn't bother me and it didn't bother Mario, but boy, it sure got McCluskey. Wow. I just reached down there and shut that fuel off. He couldn't see me. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did it on purpose? Yeah. Uh, Wait, hang on. So it wasn't that you had a problem, you just faked one. I had a problem getting it back on. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. That's on you. Yeah. <laughs> my, but McCluskey's the guy that has the problem, man, not me. I was good. Yeah. So you would bother McCluskey by killing the fuel. Like reaching down secretly, shutting off a fuel cell. Because this completely controlless passenger in the side is watching the, you're hearing the engines go up, 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 and become lifeless, knowing that you're now gliding. <laughs> you think this is funny. I do, but he did. <laughs> it, this was so cute because, and this was in the daylight too. Okay. But Parnelli's on the right and I'm on the left. McCluskey's in the right rear. And so I can't stay awake. I'm just absolutely beyond help. Yeah. So I punched Parnelli a little bit. <laughs> oh, this typical way he answers. Yeah. I said, Roof, we're gonna run out of gas on one tank. Well, what do we do about that? I says, just don't do anything, just sit still. Okay. I says, McCluskey ain't gonna like it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> That's my part. Of I'm it. with you now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I I let the I know the one tank could run out because it says empty. So it's out of gas, you know, so so I the goddamn thing starts sputtering, you know. And then McCluskey says, what's the matter with that now? I said, I don't know, Rod, but that sounds like it's not running for, too good. And he says, well, can we fix it? I said, I don't know. I says, did you put gas in this thing? I didn't put gas in it. I says, well, how come? That <laughs> damn gauge is empty. Couldn't you have done something? Put gas in the friggin' airplane? I says, no, you gotta do that occasionally, you know? <laughs> well, you didn't tell me to, you didn't tell me to put gas. Well, I don't care, it's still empty. <laughs> Somebody ought to put gas in this friggin' thing. As you're gliding. As you're, yeah. <laughs> That's right, exactly, see? So we were we were way out about, about here. I went outside. And we coasted from there all the way to runway number eight. Name Jerry Grant, ring a bell? Yeah, poor Jerry. He, he was the ass end of a couple of bad things. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about Mossport. Well, we first we were on the ma- on the racetrack. Yeah. Cause none of us know Mossport. So mm-hmm. it's like it's like the day you arrive kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Day, yeah. 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 But anyway, we we went to Mossport, had a good time. Uh, breaking Jerry's car. <laughs> his rental car. His rental car. Okay. What happened? Well, it, at first, he, we'd go in, around the racetrack, and, and Jerry, he'd shut off for a turn, and Al and I just not hit the brakes, just got boom, boom, <laughs> hard into him, you know? And he knows what we'd like to do. We'd like to get him off of a big jump yeah. or into a new jump, or something, right. you know. But Grant is stronger than hell. And so he's not going 
every place we push him. You're right, right. And that grant, he just, he's just running for a thing like that. Because what there is, there's, there's a lake. When you take off out of Mossport, mm -hmm. and if you go up that hill that they have there, and they got a real big irrigation ditch on the side. Right. So we decided we can't get can't get Jerry in the in the lake so easy. <laughs> we pushed him all the way up that lake. God damn, never hell. And then up at the end, the road turn makes a sharp left. Okay. And we were just gonna push him gently until he went over the sharp left and went into the water. <laughs> so uh, to, to recap, this is another human being in a car in the 60s, and the plan was to shove your buddy in his rental car into a lake. Yeah. Okay, just continue yeah. from there. And he'd done yeah. nothing to offend you up to this point. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like the guy. <laughs> okay, so you get to the left-hand turn. Got the left-hand turn. I'm telling now, we've got to push faster faster. You know, we've got to go. Got to get him, because if we get him up to the top, he, he won't be able to. Yeah, we'll definitely kill him. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> we got up there, and we got him sideways and everything. That damn guy's just too strong. <laughs> he kept turning it back on the road. Saving his life. So he got that. So we all got out of cars. We had a big laugh and everything. But what Grant didn't know is that I'm looking around, trying to see. There's got to be some way to get him upside down something. We've worked hard on this all day, you know. And and so so we we I, you know kinda of whispered out, it's a ditch down there. Go we'll get him in that ditch. So we get back up on the road and, and Grant of course he's gonna give her hell and get away from me. Yeah, right, right. Those right. Are brothers they're gonna mistake. try to get me in the water. Yeah, right. You know? Kill me, right. Yeah. yeah so we <laughs> So we go like hell and get get uh, a shed of him and get everything working right, and we get him going again. Boy, and he gets that he gets that competitive attitude. Gotta go, gotta go. Grand, right. you're sure enough. To, you're gonna go, but you're gonna go in the ditch. <laughs> <laughs> so we got him a little bit downhill, a little bit speed coming up, and I got him up along the side of him. Al behind him, pushing the way to get out of it. And kaboom, right into the ditch he goes. Well, the trouble was he went into the ditch just like this, went down and did like a, like about a 45 into it. Okay. So I said, yeah, that's not a real ditch deal. That's not good enough for you? No. <laughs> so, so I turned my car around and went back there and got another run at him. And he, now he's setting up in the ditch like this, hit the band back end of it, and it flipped it completely on the top. Now it's in the ditch. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> but now it's totally upside down. These are horror stories for most people. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and Grant's in the car. Right. 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 Because he was driving. Yeah, because he was trying to get away from you. Because you were trying to kill him. He gets out. Is he happy? I mean, what? what is... He's like, what good is, job, guys. Yeah, you got me. Got I me. almost died. Oh, no, we left him. Okay. Bye. He's got to fend for himself a little bit. <laughs> He's the one that was in it, not me. I just gave him a little push, you know, that's all. So now the story is he drove himself into the ditch that you <laughs> right. pushed him into and then rolled him in. If it hadn't been for him, he'd have never turned it over. He really should have got out of there and then you, while the getting was good. And then you left him there. Well, naturally. I mean, <laughs> Grant's, Grant's big, you know, he's a big guy. He's going to be mad. Yeah, yeah he, right, right. Well, they, they, the credit card company, okay. they were going to make him pay for the car, see? Okay. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's fair. Been, you know? Yeah. So what? So how did that go down then? Like, did he get out of it, or? I, the last I heard, they were still running on him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he lost his house, yeah. He was really crying. We'd heard that similar to that, there was somebody, and I thought it was Jerry Grant, but maybe it wasn't, 
where you'd done something similar to somebody and the only way to get out of it was to pretend that the car was stolen. This is it. Oh, this yeah. is it. <laughs> <laughs> it's that story. It's that story. So, like, you told him to say it was stolen? or like, mm-hmm. Okay, and he just didn't go out. Well, you helped him. <laughs> now I'd think about him. it. You helped him all right. Yeah. 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 Gave him some help. Yeah. I read a I read a story about AJ Foyt throwing uh, f- uh, throwing fireworks down a toilet before his crew chief would go use that bathroom so it would explode right around the time he walked in. No, no, no he, didn't. he didn't do that. I never saw him if he did. Right. Never heard about him. Right. Did you do that? A bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what was really funny. Al was the worst on that stuff. On blowing but, up toilets? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Toilet destroyer. <laughs> I mean, these guys come from England. They're the specialists from the Lola right. factory, right. okay? Right. And Al goes in there and blows their s*** <laughs> <shitter> right <laughs> off the floor. <laughs> they're over at the racetrack the next day. And they're complaining to everybody. And I blew off a whole bunch more. I mean, and that motel guy, he was the nicest man. He made us pay for every one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew how much a shit cost in my life. Yeah, right, right. And now I got a, well. Uh, you own about 20 of them. Well, yeah. yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I mean, boy, it was, it was, that guy was mad at the hotel. <laughs> but, but he was a good guy. He never, Usually when you explode their property. They get up. Destruction of property yeah. is frowned upon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but he was better than that. Yeah. He realized it was only a plaything. So you could understand the joke. He just wanted you to replace what you broke. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good sport. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that's, in essence, what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Well, are you on any uh, do not... Uh, are you on any no. sort of like vacancy list with hotels? Where you're hotel, not I'm okay with hotels. No hotels ever banned you. <laughs> well... I love that this takes no. this much thought. Yeah. Like, yeah. Ryan, ask me if I've ever blown, if yeah. I've ever been banned from a hotel. Are you, are you not allowed in any hotel, Sean? No. Oh, weird. <laughs> there's, a, there's a story going around your living room right now about a, uh, a cat in an airplane. That was McCluskey. Okay, who's not here to defend himself. No, right. but, but he, believe me, he loved it. McCluskey was in an airplane. This is how it all happened. Okay. So he's, he's up there, and, and they come back down, and him and somebody else started debating on whether they could throw a cat. You know, he opened the side windows on the Cessna like that. Okay. okay, yeah. He says he can grab a cat, throw it out the window, and that cat will come right back. <laughs> like a boomerang? Yeah. <laughs> like throw the cat out, it just magically flies itself out. Try, back. try the best you can. Catarang. I really, catarang. I really won't. Catarang. <laughs> it's a catarang. Try the best you can, okay. grab a good hole in that fur on his back, and throw it. Oh, yeah. And he'll beat, he'll beat you back in the, in the hole. So, so you'll be waiting on you when you come back. In, in uh, lab experiments, that's called a hypothesis. But right. then there's the actual test to do that. Yeah. So so how did this go? Did this happen? Yes, it did. Oh yeah, absolutely. Of course, yeah. idiot. How dare I? <laughs> no, uh, no. So proceed. Well, McCluskey threw the cat out. It beat him back. Mm. But every time he threw it out, it'd come back up his arm and land on his head. And it'd have all four claws like this on his head. <laughs> And he'd grab it again, somebody get this cat off my head. So he'd get it off again, somebody would open it back window and throw that cat out, and the cat go <laughs> right back up. <laughs> and the cat never made it out the window. God, I'm thankful for that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, it had claw marks. Claw marks yes. everywhere. Yes, yes. that's yeah. because it, that's called fighting for your life. Yeah. Well, they got um, nine. Yeah. Oh, wow. There it is. That yeah. That, how's that for your joke? He, I promise you, <laughs> that cat didn't like it. 
Yeah. Being thrown out of an active airplane? window in a plane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that'll yeah. happen. We're... Whose cat was it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's some barn cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... So here's the thing I can't get past. So in 2019, let's just say the sensitivity uh, among people is a lot uh, more shallow in terms of uh, people accepting humors or pranks at their expense. We have a friend who we just harassed with some funny photos for a little while, mm -hmm. and three years later, he still won't talk to us. Right. And it, we didn't blow up his bathroom or anything. Yeah, like, really? Like, or like yeah. force him to get hammered drunk in front of his boss. Yeah, yeah. Dude, nothing like this. Yeah. Really? Uh, Literally, we showed him a photo of something funny. And he won't talk to us And now. he doesn't speak to us anymore. Yep. So, I, like, to me, that's a cultural difference. And I feel like it's hurting racing. Worse, that, that, like, worse in your than days. cultural differences. Yeah. Terrible. Um, but that's what I'm saying. It's All like these in, things we ever did, I never saw anybody get in a fight right. or, or get ready to get one. And you almost murdered Jerry Grant, and he still talked to you years later. I know, yeah. It took him a minute <laughs> to get over it, but it was vehicular. No, he ended side. up being a good, Grant ended up being a good sport. <laughs> Bigger picture in, in racing today and racing in the future, I feel like the lack of these kind of stories hurt our sport because this sounds like an amazing time to have been in the sport. And uh, and I think for people like us who, if we had, if we knew we could keep friends by doing some of the oh, pranks yeah. we want to do, Game back on. we would be endless. Yeah. And we know that there's very few people we can do this kind of thing to. Uh, and I, I just wish we had that ear back. So he took it away and gave it back to me when he came. Look at that little monkey. <laughs> oh. Yeah? That's going on. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely going to be part of the edit. Cut back right to it. Uh, so you, land so you, you ran with the best of them that IndyCar has ever had, the likes of Mario, your brother. Uh, obviously, you know Bobby Rahal, right? Yeah, I know him. Really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, and do you know Graham Hall? No, don't know. Don't know him. So uh, we just finished up uh, Bobby Unser's cartoon episode Get here in the. The man! I'm not right. I'm not riding. I'm not riding with you. I'm not. I'm not riding with him. I'm not riding with him. Bye. We're on a road trip. On the next episode of Dinner with Racers. Can you believe what we get to do next? Can't believe it either, man. So sorry! I'm not sorry. Sorry! We did this! No, 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 we no, did no, this! No, 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 no! Do it! No.